Hey guys, um, welcome to another One Six Galaxies video. Today we are going to be looking at some of the recent Zing releases, um, which would be the vintage collection figures. So a couple of exclusives in here, in fact four exclusives for the gaming rate, and then um, the wave. I do have more on the way, the um, Ahsoka, the Inferno Incinerator Trooper, the Boba Fett from Morak and the Stormtrooper, just with the um, standard uh, cannon. So, like, I know that. Um, so, like, I know that there are a couple um, that have obviously been Big W and whatnot, but I got them from the UK, so that's why they're taking a while because I more or less really wanted that. Um, um, Incinerator Trooper and the Boba Fett, uh, and they're obviously not in retail at the moment. All right, so let's start off with our Jedi Fallen Order Heavy Stormtrooper. So we can see that Stormtrooper, he does have the Heavy Blaster there. Really nice art card. Um, when we do rotate him over, it is just the standard gaming greats back there, um, showcasing the other Stormtrooper. So... Having a really quick look at his details. Um, so again, we get that really nice Jedi Fallen Order. We get the nameplate, we get that really cool artwork. And then we have the Stormtrooper itself. He does come with the blaster effect and the blaster. And he's looking really clean. Um, a really nice Stormtrooper, probably the best um, Stormtrooper I've seen for a while actually. So yeah, I really, I uh, really like this guy. It's gonna be interesting to see what the uh, E-Web one looks like. So again, just the back, you get the gaming grates. You get those two there on the back, and then a little um, blurb about the gaming greats. Right, second one we are going to look at is going to be the Forced Unleash Commander. So again, really nice art card. It does say the Forced Unleash. Then we get the Stormtrooper and his two blasters. And then um, swinging around the back, we do get that exact uh, same card back that we just saw. <coughs> so again, bringing him forward, Forced Unleash. Again, that really, really, really nice art card. Um, and then again, a really, really nice Stormtrooper there. Two blasters. Um, really, really quite cool. It will be interesting to see if Hot Toys uh, continue their um, line of video game figures for Star Wars. I haven't had one for a while in terms of video games. Uh, so this time we have the Battlefront 2 Lando. Again, really nice art card. Lando cape, blaster. Pretty much what you would expect uh, from a Lando uh, from Battlefront. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of having the younger um, characters. But, I mean, it was there. It's part of the set. Why not? Uh, so again, Battlefront 2, and Carizion, really, really nice picture there, again. Then we have pretty good face sculpt for the most part, I think. Then that really bright shirt, white pants, and of course the blaster and the cape. Um, slightly different card back, of course, showing the fact that it is part of a different Gaming Greats wave. And then, of course, we do have Shay. Visa. Now this is a reprint as she is all the way back in VC 101. If you <coughs> apologies, if you do have the original, congratulations. She is a very expensive figure. Um, but again, really, really awesome art card there. Double flamethrower, helmet, and again a blaster. And then that exact same art card showing off her and Orlando. Um, so again, Splendid Universe, that really, really nice art card with the flamethrower there. Then of course we get that fantastic sculpt, all the detailing on the helmet, flamethrowers, and the two blasters, I apologise. Um, see a really, really nice figure. And yeah, just to say that she is a reprint because her number goes all the way back. But uh, if you have... Um, the original, as I said, uh, congratulations. 
All right, we are going to just cycle through these. I'm only going to show uh, the card back for this once because they all actually do have the same. So just before we do start, um, there's the card back there. You can see that it's Fennec Shand, Deathwatch, Ahsoka, Super Commando Captain, which is, I just laugh at that name, um, Clone Trooper, Jesse, Friggin' Dan, and then Din Jaren. So there is the card back that all of these characters have. So, first of all, we do have the Commando, Super Commando Captain. Um, so yeah, as you can see, really nice out card, Clone Wars. We are going to bring him forward. So Clone Wars, Super Commando Captain. Again, really, really nice paint on the Mandalorian armor. One, two, three blasters. And then that really, really cool art card. That is that is just awesome that we get that. So he's 46. 247 is going to be our airborne trooper. Um, so again... Uh, really, really nice art card there, um, Clone Wars, and he is the um, Mandalorian Deathwatch Airborne, as he does have his jetpack. Um, the Super Commander also had a jetpack. I apologise if you look on it from there, you can't actually see the jetpack. So two blasters, really nice. I, mean, uh, I did see a lot of discussions where a lot of people want to see this retooled as a Django. Um, I think it would work really well, actually, just because it is such a nice sculpt. And you've got that nice photo there. Clone Wars. So, yeah. Um, really interesting to see what they end up doing with that. Um, 48 is going to be our 332nd Clone Trooper Ahsoka. So, um, again, he is a really nice card. Um, but yeah, just standard orange helmet, blue, two blasters, uh, what you would expect, pretty much the 501st trooper that we've already gotten, uh, just with that orange helmet, um, which is exactly what he is. So Clone Wars, again, probably not as nice as the others, but still pretty good artwork. And then there's our paint job, which again is still pretty damn good. Um, and then the blasters. We're right, almost there with our last three figures. So 50 um, is Jesse, um, and again, quite um, quite the artwork on Jesse, as you can see, the star on the helmet, Clone Wars, um, etc. there, so really, really nice. So Clone Wars, there's that artwork. Um, I think it's because they, the artwork's different because they're not live action, right? Um, so again, it's really, really nice. Um, they got the tattoo, perfect as well. Um, got that archetypal uniform, one, two, three, four uh, weapons, which is fantastic value, um, considering the price, because of the price of these, just keeps going up and up and up. Um, then we do have number 49. As that tries to refocus, we do have everyone's favorite musician, maybe second favorite musician after Max Rebo came back. I don't know why is that not refocused. All right, we do have friggin' Dan um, again, phenomenal art card from A New Hope, just as Star Wars, uh, that original. Uh, vintage style logo, which is fantastic. And we do have three musical instruments there. So again, there's that original logo, which is fantastic. Um, still straight from New Hope. And of course, our musician with his instruments. Um, they have redone these guys again and again, um, but it is so good every time we get one. Hopefully they consider um, putting the rest of them in the vintage card, uh, because again, it's the first time they've been in the vintage card, uh, being 249. All right, um, I accidentally did it out of order, but here's our final one, 251.
is Din Djarin. It is Morak. Um, now, a lot of places were labeling this as an exclusive when he was the first announced. Uh, then Zing, whatever, everyone seems to have gotten, gotten him. Uh, not too sure. Um, but Mandalorian, there he is. The picture of Pedro Pascal with the helmet off. A pistol, red armband, and whatnot. Um, if you find the Mayfield, I've heard of the mistake of the Mayfield having this. So if you find a Mayfield uh, with this, it means that you got an older one. Um, but yeah, there's Arjun Jaren still, which again is fantastic. Um, then we get the sculpt, which is actually still pretty good. Then we have all um, of those details in there as well. All right, guys, as I said, they all, just in case you missed it, they all do have that exact same back card back there, um, showcasing some of the previous wave, and then, of course, the wave that we just went over. So, um, the Ahsoka is probably why we jumped um, a number there, actually, because I honestly cannot remember what number she is. But, um, yeah, that's our wave. The very last thing I am going to show before we move on is going to be this Boba Fett. So it is the Tatooine version, Book of Boba Fett. Has the missile and everything. There's a picture of him there. Uh, yes, the packet is what it is. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. I don't like it, but... It is what it is. Um, I opened it to make sure that the figure inside it was quality control free. As far as I could, I didn't actually unwrap any of the extra accessories. So I'm hoping they are all there. But there's a full shot there of our Boba Fett. Um, this is the packet that the other figures I'm getting from the UK are coming. Except I'm getting the other version of Boba Fett, which is the in brackets Morag. Um, so yeah, keep information coming. Um, we will do the other videos. Um, and then we'll do the icon update as well as they did delay the 31st, the 31st uh, stock to get delayed until the 12th of August uh, in case you did miss that um, but I'll make that announcement very clear in the next video and I will also get the Mark 85 up at some stage over the weekend as well. Alright, thanks for watching guys.